Cross it. Hey everybody, Dr. O here. And this is where I want to cover some of the key muscles in the trunk area. So here we have your abdominal muscles, the rectus abdominis, the internal and external obliques, and the transversus abdominis. The reason I talk about all these at one time, besides the fact that they share functions, is that it kind of functions like a, like a muscular back brace that compresses the abdomen and, and stabilizes your low back. The rectus muscles, the rectus abdominis means straight. These muscles run straight up and down. That'd be your six pack, and they're involved in flexion of the trunk and spine there. Then you have the internal and external obliques that run at these like these 45 degree angles, and they run in different directions. So they play a big role in rotation and also lateral flexion of the trunk, but they stabilize the abdomen as well. Then you have the transversus abdominis, which is deep. You have to remove all these other muscles, but it runs side to side. So it's, it, its job is to compress the abdomen. This is probably the most important one if you can, for, from, a, from a low back standpoint. If you, can, if you can strengthen the transversus abdominis and help people compress their abdomen, that should stabilize their low backs when they're moving, lifting things, that, you know, getting out of bed, these types of things. So having a strong core is really, really important to protecting your back. Not because you're making your back muscles stronger, but you're stabilizing your back so you don't, have, you don't get... Um, serious issues if you if you catch yourself in an awkward position. So those are going to be your abdominal muscles, rectus abdominis, internal oblique, external oblique, and transverse abdominis. Then if we go a little deeper, we have two more really important ones. Now you might see this term iliopsoas. So the iliopsoas is actually the iliacus muscle plus the psoas muscle, which, which I'll point to here. But the psoas is the one that I want to focus on. There is a psoas major and minor, but the psoas major, super important muscle. It's the connection between your the vertebrae of your low back and your hip. So its job is primarily flexion of the hip, but it's also a lateral or external rotator. But this one's so important because it gets super tight in people that sit all the time. I, I noticed back, you know, clinically, I do a lot of work to get people to stretch their psoas and to work out the psoas muscle. It's also a real common cause of anterior hip pain and that snap. Snapping. Like if you if you hear like a snapping or popping in the front of the hip, I noticed that a lot of times the psoas major was very tight. So the psoas is really kind of our loin muscle, just kind of interesting there. But uh, so if you see iliopsoas, it's this iliacus plus the psoas. But out of all of them, the psoas major is the one I want you to know. Then we have the quadratus lumborum, or what's called the QL. Another one. This is this one connects the pelvis to the your your lumbar spine and even your bottom rib. So very common in people with with achy tight low backs. This quadratus quadratus lumborum muscle gets super tight. It's involved in lateral flexion of the trunk. So these might be the kind of muscles that need worked out with a really good massage or myofascial release session if you have a lot of chronic low back pain. But for now, just know where they are. So that's the psoas major and then the iliacus, which form that iliopsoas. The quadratus lumborum is there as well. Then we already covered the abdominal muscles. So some of the key muscles of the trunk. All right, I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.